Welcome everyone to my channel. Um, today we have a very nice exponential challenge. The question reads 5 to the power of x plus 7 equal to 7 to the power of x plus 5. What that will be the value of x? Without much waste of time, let's take our selection then. So, selection. Right. So, we put down our question. So, the question again says 5 to the power of x plus 7 equal to 7 to the power of x plus 5. Good. Here, yeah, we can use two methods to approach this challenge. Yeah, by the properties of log, we can start by taking the log to base 10 or the ln of both sides of this equation. By so doing, we are in order. Okay, thereby we now move this power backward, move this power backward. But look at the method I'm what to use here now. I want to use this five to open up everything. In other words, I want to rewrite the left hand side and the right hand side of the equation according to the law of indices, which says that if you have your a to the power of x plus y, this is same thing as your a to the power of x dot or times your a to the power of y. Okay, so if I subtract to this rule, then our equation will now become your 5 to the power of x times your 5 to the power of 7 equal to same thing happens here 7 to the power of x times 7 to the power of 5. Okay, this is the law I just applied here now. Very easy. So we proceed again. Look at what I want to do here now. The left hand side of the equation I want to divide by 7 to the power of x. Then I will also divide this side by 7 to the power of x. Then the left hand side again, I want to divide by 5 to the power of 7. Then I will also do the same here, 5 to the power of 7. So if we are to cancel out here, then you discover that this will go with x. And on this side, 7 to the power of x will go with 7 to the power of x here. So we are now left with your 5 to the power of x all over 7 to the power of x equal to this other side we are left with 5 to the power of, sorry, 7 to the power of 5 all over 5 to the power of 7. Good. This has not really changed anything. We proceed again. According to the law of indices, we can rewrite this again. The law which says that if you have your a to the power of x all over b to the power of x, because the powers are the same, then we'll have this to be a all over b or to the power of x. So we can rewrite the left hand side of the equation as 5 all over 7 or to the power of x equal to 7 to the power of 5 all over 5 to the power of 7. Mind you, we cannot rewrite the left-hand side of the equation based on this law because the powers are different and the bases are different. So we leave the left-hand side, sorry, the right-hand side of the equation to be like that. Now we continue again. At this point, we can align both sides of the equation. Okay, so if we align both sides, we can take log to base 10, but yeah, I prefer using the ln. Okay, ln base e. So if we ln both sides, we're going to have here the ln of 5 all over 7, ln of 5 all over 7 to the power of x equal to the ln bracket 7 to the power of 5 all over 5 to the power of 7 close bracket. All right, according to the law of our logarithm again, we say that if you have log your um, p to the power of k, okay, base a, this is same thing as your k log your p is a. Okay, so if we succumb to this rule, then we're going to have our expression 
we move the whole of this exponent backward. So we're going to have this to be your x ln of your 5 all over 7 bracket equal to the ln of bracket open 7 to the power of 5 all over 5 to the power of 7 close bracket. All right. Now, we succumb to the division rule of logarithm. We say that if you have your ln of, um, uh, let's say, m all over n, then this is equivalent or equal to the ln of your m, okay, bracket minus the ln of your n. Okay, so if we suck up to this rule again, then we're going to have our expression here to be your, but before then, let's divide by ln of 5 all over 7. So if we divide this, we're going to have the ln of 5 all over 7, then all over ln of 5 all over 7. So this and this will leave. So we are now left with x, which is what we're looking for. So by that rule, we're going to have this to be your ln of 7 to the power of 5. Okay. In bracket, minus the ln of 5 to the power of 7. Close in bracket. All over your ln of 5. In bracket, minus ln of 7. All right, so therefore, our x is equal to the ln. Yeah, we succumb to that power rule again. So we can move this backward to give us here 5 to the ln of 7 minus 7, then into the ln of 5, those bracket all over the ln of 5 there minus ln of 7. Good. So this is the value for our x. Q E D. Now I have a used calculator to factorize everything here. I use my calculator and I substitute the value into the initial equation which is our dx. This is our initial equation which is this and when i put in the value it gives me the approximate value okay it gave the approximate value to uh, this challenge to this challenge and also if you use the other method too you also get the exact answer which is around four um, which is approximately 4.560 something okay if you use both method that will give you same all right this is all I must TV and this is all I have for you for today. Thanks for always be there. My name remains Jake's Animal and yeah, everyone at all I must TV love you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.